Hi everyone, welcome to my very first live ever. I am really excited but extremely nervous at the same time. For those of you that are new here, uh, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're returning, obviously, I am so thrilled that you are still here. My name is Natalia. I'm a concert pianist and a beauty lover. And I've been watching YouTube, which is how I got into makeup, probably for about eight or nine years. And it has definitely gotten me into some trouble of accumulating way too much makeup and spending way too much money on it. So I started off my channel by doing an entire no buy year in 2020. And this year, I'm just trying to navigate a low buy and budget year and see how I do at that. And you guys are here to witness my entire journey. So thank you again so much for being here. Since this is my very first live, I would love to know if people can see me and hear me. Oh, thank you. I see that people are already uh, letting me know that I am glowing, which I don't know if that's my highlight from Ofra or the sweat from being so nervous, but either way, that's where we're at, so thank you. Um, and I see so many familiar faces in the chat. I see Steven and Rupi are here. I see Eden and Molly are here. Danny from Scars to Stars, who just became my 600 subscribers. So thank you, Danny. That I, I'm blown away by the fact that you're here. I have admired your channel and your Instagram page for months and months and months now. Um, I see Anara is here. Betsy is here. My goodness, guys, you have no idea how much it means to me that you are all here. And so many of these wonderful people in the chat have their own channels. So please, um, you know, go ahead and uh, talk amongst yourselves if you don't know each other <laughs> and make sure that you go and subscribe to everybody else's channels. So since this is my very first live and I am known to be long winded in general, I'm going to just let you guys know what my plan for tonight was. And then I am more than thrilled to take recommendations and see if maybe we should take this in some other direction. So um, as you guys know, I am trying not to buy too many new releases due to my budget. But one of the things I could not resist this year was the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette. And my understanding is it is restocking in just about like an hour and a half, an hour and 25 minutes or something like that. I think it's restocking uh, nine o'clock PST, which is midnight EST. And um, I wouldn't know some of the other time zones. Um, <laughs> and we'll get to the highlighter. Thank you so much, guys. The highlighter is part of another recent new uh, release. So I thought maybe what we could do, because I already have a three looks, one palette on my channel for this um, palette, I thought we could do something really simple and quick and easy with this, just to see if, in fact, this palette is versatile, plus I don't talk and do makeup at the same time very well. So I wanted to keep this really easy for the first time around. So we're going to do two looks, uh, one on each eye, and I'm going to limit myself to just using two shadows and two eye brushes for each of the looks. So we're going to try to keep it really simple, basically two looks, two shadows, two brushes. And then later in the second half of this live, uh, we're going to have two winners for my 500 subscribers giveaway. So I'll quickly go over the prizes again, and then we're gonna actually do a live drawing for each of those prize winners. I'm trying to keep up with the comments, guys. Um, oh, Rupi is saying she thinks it's restocking at 8 p.m. PST, so that would be in 24 minutes. Well, thank you, Rupi, for letting me know. I had no idea. I was sure that it was 9 p.m. PST, but what do I know? Um, <laughs> so, um, all right. So everyone's asking about the highlighter. So I guess let's get that out of the way because we're not actually going to be playing with the palette that the highlighter is from. But the highlighter is an Ofra highlighter, and it is from the latest Samantha March uh, Rupi just got it. I saw it in the comments. It is from the latest Samantha March and Ofra collab. And it is this highlighter that is in Dream Chaser right 
here in the center. So um, that is what is on my cheeks and my nose. Um, all right, so let's see what we're going to think, you guys. Thank you. I do like the Ofra highlighters a lot, and I do really uh, love Samantha March. She was partially the reason I started my channel, maybe story time for another day, but I have actually met both on Yelikin Equist and Samantha March in New York uh, in 2019 when they were here for one of the makeup um, conventions, or I can't remember which one it was. It was like the Ipsy one, I think. Um, so I met both of them in person and it's partially why I picked up both of these new products because they kind of, you know, have a little bit of a special place. For, so if you guys haven't seen this palette, which I feel like, of course, everybody probably either has it or has seen it. Um, hopefully my lighting is sort of okay. Um, and that is what it looks like. And I see that some people who don't have it are trying to stay strong guys honestly i see both molly and rupee in the chat saying you guys really want this you ladies or at least i know rupee have so many single eyeshadows i know you can dupe this i am sure of it yes it is beautiful yes i'm not going to take anything away from kaleidos or um angelica for creating this palette but I, because I missed out on every release of 2020, I don't really have any indie shadows. I don't really have every color of the rainbow out there. So this really did add something to my collection, but I feel like a lot of people um, definitely can dupe this if they have. Oh, okay, Rupi, sorry. I didn't understand that you guys were talking about the astral pink. Got it. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, so let's see, what are we going to do today? So I need to pick out two shades for each. Oh, how do I do this without blinding you guys? Two shades for each of my eyes. And I think we are going to go with something maybe. I did a teal look for a Project Pan update that was actually the same sort of idea. It was just two shadows out of this palette. And that was using Seven of Nine and Astro. So I think I want to try something different today. Um, I'm thinking maybe going in with Rock Hopper. Oh boy. Okay, wait, let's see. Rock Hopper, which is this like almost a purpley, like a grungy purpley gray. And then maybe topping it with either Celestial or You're My Only Hope, one of these uh, lighter shimmers. And then maybe doing something really bright. Uh, that kind of matches my sweater and doing like red giant and nebula or i guess i could go a little bit more subdued and do samus and nebula if you guys have any thoughts on that please chime in uh steven is saying i should match my sweater yeah i guess so maybe i should do the red giant shade which is the only real red in here okay let me see i want to catch up a little bit on these comments because as I said it's my first time so I am trying my best to keep up here um, and yes for everyone that's saying that this um, palette looks beautiful it really is I have been truly enjoying it it is definitely out of my comfort zone but I have been really liking it and this will be a real test of how easy it is to create quick two shadow looks. So I have a few brushes in front of me and I need to pick out just two for the first look. So maybe we will go with the Red Giant and Nebula look or maybe, well, we'll see. Let's see how Red Giant does and then we'll think about what to top it off with. So I want to pick a brush that would be good to both pack and blend at the same time. So I have a few choices. I have this a uh, brush from B Pro. I have a Densa Mark Jacobs brush, and I have a Real Techniques brush that I thought might work for that. I don't have too many really, you know, high-end brushes. So, um, let's see. What is? What are you guys talking about over there? Is everyone still talking about the Astro Pink, or have we moved on to something else? I'm not sure. 
can't keep up. Um, so then there's also this brush that I thought could work well. So I think I'm going to start off with the Real Techniques brush because I do know this brush. So I think that would be nice. And I like that this palette has a mirror because I don't really have one in front of me. So I'm going to use this. So we are just going to go ahead and try. Ooh, and if you guys hear motorcycles and cars and sirens, I live in New York City. So we're going to get a lot of that. Um, okay, I see. Yes. So people are still talking about the Astro Pink and trying to talk themselves out of it, it looks like. Um, lots of activity outside with motorcycles. Sorry about that, if you guys can hear that. All right, so I think I'm going to do the red look on my left eye, or I guess for you guys, it is probably my right eye because I am a lefty. So I think I'm going to start with something that feels a little bit more comfortable first, and then we'll see. Um, <laughs> Ruby sounds like when Apollo growls. That's hilarious. Uh, Apollo, for those of you guys that don't know, is Ruby's dog. Yes, the street racers, Stephen. They're a bit early today because, you know, usually I film like in the middle of the night and they come out to play around midnight to 2 a.m. So, all right. So I think I'm going to pack this on the outer V and then try to drag it up because it is quite a uh, pigmented shade so we're going to try not to make too much of a mess if i miss some of the comments oh betsy i didn't know you're also a lefty how cool you've mentioned that before in your channel i'm sorry i must have missed it um yeah so this is going to be definitely interesting to see how well this shade blends because it definitely packs a punch as you guys can probably see right away. So, and of course, because I'm not going to be using a ton of brushes, it's not like I can really go in and tweak and do some details and such. So we're going to see how this goes. Yes, Danny, I live in New York City. I have ever since I moved to the States back in 1992. So I've been here a long time. What is Eden saying? She's traveling to Australia. Ooh, you're traveling for the first time, Eden, since I guess the pandemic. That is so cool. Congrats. <laughs> Everyone now is talking about traveling. Yeah, I know it's been a rough year as far as a lot of things are concerned, but definitely traveling. Um, looking forward to obviously still taking precautions, but not being as paranoid because I am now fully vaccinated. So yay to that. Um, so hopefully a lot of people are going to start to be able to do things again, at least to some extent. All right. So we're going to Deepen this up a bit because this is one of those shades where it's almost a crime not to let that richness because it's like it's almost like a cherry. It's a red, but in some lighting, I feel like it, yeah, it almost pulls like this raspberry or cherry. <sighs> yeah, Betsy, um, I understand you before the pandemic used to go to Disney all the time. I'll be honest, I've never been, um, but I know people who are diehards are diehards, so <laughs> Ruby, you just want to be left in, yeah, you know, to be honest, there are definitely some things that I think it's going to take me time to want to actually do again. I'm kind of used to not having to go places to some extent. So it's, I'm a, a bit, I'm kind of in between because I'm both, I feel like an introvert and an extra extrovert. I, you kind of have to catch me on a specific day. So some days I'm like, get me out of this house. I need to do stuff. And some days I'm like, you can't drag me out of here. <sighs> Ooh, 
We're going to visit Rupi. Oh, I can't. I lost my passport. I have to actually fix that situation. So until I do, I don't think Canada allows U.S. Uh, people to just enter with a driver's license anymore. That used to happen years ago, but I don't think that's true anymore. Okay, so I think that is definitely plenty of the red shadow. I'm just going to try to bring it in a little bit. Going to Florida. Molly's going to Florida. Um. <laughs> yeah, Rupi, I hear you. I do enjoy traveling, though, I do have to say. But I think I got that early on because as a pianist, I have traveled for competitions as a teenager and then, of course, for concerts later on in life. So, and especially once I learned how to drive, if I have the opportunity to rent a car and kind of be my own boss when I travel, that's my favorite part. I really don't like to be tied to somebody else having to chauffeur me around. All right, I'm going to take a sip of my gin and tonic because usually I'm a Prosecco drinker, but for my first live, I figured I need something with a little more kick. Okay, so now the question is what to put all over the lid. Oh, I'm blinding you guys again. Um, I'm open to suggestions. I was originally thinking Nebula, which is this like peachy orange shade, but I'm kind of wondering if actually you're my only hope might overlay nicely over this uh, red giant shade or if I should even try Celestial. Let's see, let's actually swatch these three. So these, well, I don't know, can you guys see in my horrendous lighting? Um, these are not gonna swatch that great because they're kind of toppers. But if we can see anything, those are the three shades. Oh, Eden, that's really cool. So it's only three and a half hours away. That's nice. 10 minutes until Kaleidos Club Nebula is restocked. All right. Rupee's over here updating all of us. I am not going to convince anybody to go and buy anything because that would be, that would be kind of hypocritical of me considering I am mostly about the budgets and the nobodies. So... While I do love this, you guys have to decide for yourself if you really feel like you need it or not. But I wanted to play with it in honor of the restock nonetheless. Okay, so I think I'm going to actually just wipe this same brush off on this paper towel I have next to me. And I think I am going to actually try your My Only Hope. And while it is really flaky, I think if I spray it, we can make this work. <laughs> I know, Ruby. I'm just kidding. I know that you're just letting everybody know in case they're interested, because, of course, I would forget to do that. So thank you for letting everybody know. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Ooh, shiny. I think that was a good choice. I might actually go in with my finger after this just to get into the inner corner because I think this brush is not detailed enough to help me do that. Yeah, Stephen, I feel like... I don't know if you would really love it all that i mean i'm sure you would really enjoy it but i feel like you really do have uh palettes that are bo more like up to your speed that you um enjoy more and once i hit a thousand subscribers which of course is going to take some time but let's see when that happens 
I already mentioned in my three looks palette, but when this initially released the very first time, I did pick one up for my thousand subscriber giveaway. So I have another one of these sitting around waiting for somebody down the line. But uh, the comments on Kaleidos post, oh, I guess I can actually highlight but I don't know yet how to do that Rupi what is it about the comments on Kaleidos post oh because I see because people have anxiety over the restock because they're worried Ooh, I did it look at this um they're worried that they're not going to get it yeah that's see this is the one thing about the marketing of the beauty community that I really don't like. And this is, I'm sure, what initially got me into some financial trouble, not to mention space trouble. I just can't use everything I have. And I live in New York City. You know, I, I don't have unlimited space. Um, thank you, guys. I think I figured out how to do that. And I'm, I don't know, maybe my comments are coming in uh, a little bit late. Um, but yeah, I, I wish... I mean, I understand brands need to make money and I understand they need to hype things up, but I really do wish that it wasn't such a frenzy every time there's a big release to make people feel like for some reason they're just missing out, you know, God's gift to life. At the end of the day, it's just an eyeshadow palette. I mean, yes, I know we're all on here and we love makeup, but I think we can all agree it's really just an eyeshadow palette. And the world will not end if we don't have it. All right, so what do we think so far of this just two shadow situation? Of course, I'm going to put the same thing on my lower lash line and then we can move on to the other look. So for that, I think I'm going to, what am I going to take? I want to take like a really small brush, to be honest, for the lower lash line, because otherwise I feel like it's going to get blown out of control. Um, yeah, Betsy, exactly. Yes, there will always be something else. And we know there always is. And that's the thing. Like, we always fall for the hype, even though we know that there is going to be another release just as new and just as exciting, probably just weeks down the road. It happens every time. So... But... Um, since I did get this one, I want to get use out of it. So I thought that's what we're going to do today. Because that's the other thing I have an issue with um, sometimes is, um, oh, wow, Stephen, we have 18 people, 19. Oh, my gosh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Um, thank you guys so, so much for being here. You have no idea. Um, and I'm like, I've calmed down a little bit <laughs> now that we've been going for, you know, 20 minutes or whatever it's been, I feel like I can breathe or maybe it's those two sips of the gin and tonic, whatever it is, it's working. Thank you, Betsy. Betsy's saying, make sure to like, thank you guys. Um, Oh, Molly. Yeah, see, but at the same time, Molly, don't don't beat yourself up for it. Molly is saying she, you know, has only worn it one time. It's, it, I feel like this, it's like almost the system is set up that way, right? Because as, as we just said, there are so many releases that who can possibly keep rotating through things that quickly? And I think it just takes, oh, what am I doing? I'm by habit almost instantly going to my other lower lash line because you know usually you do both um okay so i'm gonna take that you're my only hope pop it in in the center here in the inner corner 
and we are going to blow off a little bit of the fallout and move on to the other eye and then we'll do eyeliner and mascara at the end um i buy a new eden is saying she buys a new palette uses it one time before the next release gets your attention yeah i think and and that's exactly what brands want they just want us to be buying these things i mean you think they were apples or something these palettes but it's not like you can just eat it once and and it's done this is not that kind of thing um Oh, Eileen, that's really a good way of going about it. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, and Betsy's saying you have to decide what's best for you. Yes, yes, it is a revolving door. And Eileen earlier said that her system is if she feels like she only likes half of it, then that's already not good enough to get it. And that's really smart. Um, and I also see that a lot of people are saying that when you're on YouTube, you feel like you have to have it. And that is definitely a trap that so many of us do fall into. And, and it is, I've talked about it on my channel before. It is in some ways why I'm really grateful that I started my channel with a no by a year. Because I know I would have fallen into that trap a lot harder and a lot faster because I find myself thinking that way a lot more this year when I'm no longer on a full blown no buy i definitely do feel like there are times where i'm like oh but like if i if i really want it i should make videos on it right away or this that and the other thing and at the end of the day i mean i'm doing this for me and i should just enjoy what i have all right enough blabbering you guys i'm sure will keep talking amongst yourselves here um, oh, thank you, Chloe. Chloe saying that I have influenced her to love what she has more. That really means a lot. Thank you. And it, honestly, it's a lesson I need to remind myself of almost on the daily. Because if you guys think I don't want every new thing out there, you know, I do. I just need to curb my enthusiasm. Um, okay, I am thinking, I don't know, this might be a little too Christmas, though, to go like, lime green on the other eye is that going to be real crazy <laughs> um yes oh yes charlotte holdcroft did a video about not chopping like a beauty youtuber steven is saying yeah she's got uh some great videos on things like that anybody have any recommendations for me on what colors i should use on my other eye we need two shades i think i'm going to go back to that rock hopper idea unless you guys have any other suggestions. And let's see, what clean brush do I want to use for this? Um, I'm wondering actually if my MAC 217 will work for this. Um, da -da 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 -da. Go for one, uh, sorry guys, I'm just trying to read some of your comments because I don't want to miss all of it entirely. Yeah, Eileen is saying she's at a point where she buys what she wants, regardless of whether it's new and old. And I think I am definitely um, right there with you, Eileen. Oh, yeah, okay. Go for what inspires me to do. Honestly, I kind of want to try both, but I only have two eyes and not three. So um, <laughs> uh, Betsy's saying I should do the lime green. Hmm. All right, let's do the lime green. Let's let's live colorfully today. Why not? And I'll do rock hopper in some other video. Green plus blue. Ooh, I could do I could do like all matte. I don't have to do a shimmer. And I could do something with that lime green. Hmm. Eden. Eden. She's reading my mind. I've wanted the Metropolis since fall of 2019. I still don't have it because it's $129. So yeah, 
Yeah, I think so too, Betsy. All mats would be pretty. Now the question is, what do I want to pair with gravity? I think I'm going to do gravity and queen of blades. So, um, we're going to do queen of blades. This is tough to do these dark shades with very limited brushes, but I kind of wanted to challenge myself because, you know, for all that traveling we're about to start doing, we're going to want to pack light. So I figured, hey, this could be fun. Okay. Let's see getting a little messy but we'll pull it together later what are people over there talking about not touching yet metropolis i have to say with having this palette um oh eileen Is Eileen heading out? I want to then say good night. Oh, yes, I see. Okay. Thanks, Eileen, so much for being here. Good night. Yeah, I know it's late. So, well, for those of us, I guess on Central and Eastern time, it's later. Okay, we got a little out of control there. Okay, I'm going to try to blend this out a little bit because it is looking a little crazy. Okay. And since I am allowing myself two brushes, I think I will use a clean one for the lime green shade. <laughs> so funny, Ruby. Yeah, although I guess there are some out there that would say, well, by then it'll be expired. Although I feel like powder products can really last a long time. Okay. It's messy, but that's all right. Um, thanks, Sonara. Thank you so much for being here. Ooh, the star palette. My gosh, who remembers that? Okay, I think for that lime green shade, I'm going to take a flat brush. I'm going to take my MAC 242. And we are going to see how it does right here. And in the center, I guess I should have done like a cut crease because it's not going to really overlay very well over this deep shade, but I'm going to put it to the test. It's actually surprisingly not bad. <laughs> Betsy, that's great, right? The, the prices, though, are crazy on that palette. And I was so close to getting it, but it was 
shortly before my um, no buy year. And I was already kind of trying to get myself into that mindset of don't buy just because it's beautiful. Don't buy, you know, because you have so much. So I skipped on it, even though I had the opportunity to get it. I think I even like already had it in my cart and I changed my mind. And that was one of the few, one of the few palettes that still kind of haunts me because a lot of things, they come and go and then I forget about them. But that one, yeah. Um, what are we talking about here? I see Rupi and Eden are talking about something, but I missed, I guess, are we still on the Metropolis? Um... Yeah, I'm, I think at this point, if I do ever get the Metropolis, I think that's what you guys are talking about. I'm definitely going to wait until a huge Black Friday sale, unless she does suddenly discontinue it, because technically it was supposed to be a limited edition palette. Betsy, are you talking about the uh, Muerta palette, that that was the one your kids got you for Christmas? All right, so Queen of Blades got a bit out of control. I kind of wish I could go in with like a just cream shade and clean that up. I think I'm going to cheat and do that. I'm going to go into my Project Pan palette, which is my Tartlet and Bloom, and just do a little bit of cleanup right up here. Nothing crazy. I feel like I can't see my own eyebrows anymore. It's like blending in with the green. Okay. I think that's a little better. I could use concealer, Steven. You're right, but I didn't. So, oops. I guess next time. I didn't think of that. All right got things on my cheeks. This is going to be interesting because I already used the two brushes, so I'm going to have to use this same one just a little bit on the lower lash line. And I'm not very good at using large brushes on my lower lash line, so we're just going to do a little bit just for a little smokiness. And we're going to stop right there because otherwise it's going to get out of control i know it thank you eden thanks for liking the looks um all right i think i am going to put some eyeliner and mascara on and then i think we should quickly go over the prizes and pull out some winners good night betsy thank you so much thank you for being here i really Really appreciate it beyond anything you can imagine. Okay, so this is a Clinique eyeliner that is in my project pan. So we're not going to get really creative here because I want to speed this along. We're just going to pop that in. And I think for today, I'm not even going to do anything on the lower lash line just because otherwise we're going to be here all night. Okay, I still have, I'm still milking my L'Oreal Voluminous. So I think, I feel like the Lash Paradise lately has been flaking on me. So I think I'm going to test that out. We're going to see how it does. Um, cause I'll probably keep this. I look for at least, um, an hour, even after the live while I clean up and such. So I'm curious if I am right. And if this is starting to flake, cause it is getting older. And I don't wear falsies. So 
That's what we're going to do here, just some mascara. <laughs> Mermaid Steven says, thank you. Oh, thanks, Jan. Thanks for being here. Both look so great. I love the red one. Thank you. I'm really liking this red and pink one, too, to be honest. Um, I think I really would have needed a different brush for that Queen of Blades shade because since I limited myself to just using two brushes and picked not really an ideal one, it just didn't blend very well. I, it's not really a blending shade. I feel like it's more of a packing shade. So, ooh, Rupee, it didn't sell out? You mean the, the Club Nebula? Well, I know Anielika mentioned in her video, I think it was yesterday, that the first time around they really thought they had enough to last. And um, they were surprised at how fast it sold out. So maybe they did a really large restart this time around just to you know, hold them over for a while because they didn't really want to do another restock and they just want to kind of have this all last for a bit and then be done with it because I'm sure that the contract has a closing date. The contract between Kaleidos and Angelica, that is. I'm sure that that's not forever. Thank you, Jane Lee. Um... Okay, so this is where we're at. We've got the red and pink. So this is the red giant and you're my only hope, is it? Yes, you're my only hope. And for that, I just used this Real Techniques base shadow brush that I've had for years. This came in a set that I don't think is even available anymore, but they have, I'm sure, something very similar. So I used that. And then on the lower lash line, I used this It Cosmetics little brush, packing brush. Does this have a name? This is the Eye Smudger, number 221. So those are the two shadows and the two brushes that um, I used there. And then on this eye, I used Queen of Blades and Gravity, both the matte shades that are right next to each other. And for that, I used this random B Pro Detailer brush. I don't even know where I have this from. And then I used my MAC 242 to pack on the lime green. And I used the same B Pro brush for the um, lower lash line. And then just some mascara. Thank you, Kevins. Thank you, guys, for all the compliments. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, let me clear a little bit of space. Sorry if it's noisy because the microphone is right next to me. So yeah, so Club Nebula is done for the night. We are gonna give her a break. Um, and I didn't even ask if you guys want swatches, but I assume everybody by now has seen all the swatches. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna clear some space because I wanna show you guys real quick one more time the prize boxes and then we're gonna draw some winners and call it a night. Um, and I'll contact, that's my chair, I'll contact the winners after this. So we have two prize boxes let me see which one is which. They're in these fabulous boxes from Amazon at the moment. So I think I'm gonna actually put it in my lap and go through prize box number one. Um, oh, you guys are talking about prices for the palette. Yeah, I, I thought it was actually really reasonable. Um, I'm gonna take off this these shiny swatches so that we don't get things all over the prizes. Okay. 
All right. So prize box one, I don't remember the order that I initially showed you guys in the first time around in my video, but those who know, know that I love these. These are amazing. So both prizes actually are going to have this. The prize boxes are similar, but I can't hold both on my lap. So otherwise I would... Um, show them you know simultaneously steven steven are we just window shopping okay so that's a one then i found some zoeva products a lot of these things you know those of you guys that know i shop a lot at tj maxx a lot of these things i did find there so this is the zoeva aristo palette this is the one that oops careful natalia this is going to somebody else this is the one that has the three shades in it it has kind of like a banana like powder almost and then two beautiful blushes i think this would do real well on medium if not deep skin tones actually this is a really cool set this has the travel size blurring coconut face primer the travel size perfect coconut setting powder and then the full size i believe of the um what's it called the tantric uh omega bronze or so and there's that um speaking of real techniques there's going to be a set of brushes um there's going to be a kaya or kaja i'm not sure how to pronounce the brand beauty bento box this is the eyeshadows not the new things that just came out with the bronzer and all but this is the rose water um eyeshadow little trio um there's going to be a cute headband in green in this prize box um, then there's going to be uh, a NARS mascara set. And um, I'm just sorry, I'm just also reading your comments, guys. I'm trying to pretend I'm part of the conversation because usually I'm on that side of the screen chatting with everybody. All right. And then the exciting prize for prize box one is the Natasha Denona sunrise palette i saw earlier steven mentioned that he got these during black friday and in fact steven whoever wins these two prize boxes have you to thank because i remember seeing that they were buy one get one on your instagram and that you picked them up and i immediately thought that that would be absolutely perfect for um the giveaway the upcoming giveaway what is happening over there with steven Highlighter collection. Oh, Steven, do you really need more highlighters? How often are you going to use like a super funky purple highlighter? Use a shadow. You probably have shadows, those same exact colors. Just saying. Okay. I think that is that for the sunrise box is what I'm calling it. And then we have this other second glamorous Ulta box. And that also has the Shiseido cottons, a different Zoeva palette. This is the Screen Queen highlighting palette. So this is all highlighters. Do you guys want to see? Let's see. I'll be careful. So the speaking of highlighters. Uh, but these are more traditional highlighters. There's a uh, like a more icy highlighter, a pink one, and a more bronzy gold one. Of course, I don't see how all three of these are going to work for every skin tone, but you guys can find multiple ways of using them. The same NARS mascara, Climax Mascara set, a headband only in red because the theme of this box is love and then another uh, of the bento boxes except I think I mixed them up yes so 
I believe the rose water one was going to be in the first box and the orange blossom was going to be in this one. I will go back to my initial video and double check before I send out the packages because I honestly can't remember, guys, which package had what. Another Real Techniques set, a different one, but with three brushes as well. The Marc Jacobs Tantric Full Size Bronzer, not the set, but the bronzer alone. And then, of course, the exciting thing is the Natasha Denona Love Palette in here. <laughs> Steven, you are always entertaining. I don't quite understand what's going on because I can't keep up with all the comments. But regardless, I see somebody is like driving over Rupee is driving down to Chicago, what, to make sure you don't buy something or something else. Oh, hi, Locke. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, we just created really quick looks with two shadows and only two brushes on each eye. Uh, so I used, I am so terrible at remembering shade names. I used the Red Giant and that sparkly pink shade on this eye. Sorry, it's confusing because it's the opposite of what you guys are seeing. And then I used the lime green and the one right next to it, the dark green one on this eye. And we are about to do a drawing for my two boxes for the 500 subscriber giveaway. So I just showed the prizes and we're gonna do the drawing before we head out for the night. So since we were playing with Club Nebula, I know last time I did the drawing out of an actual hat and I was considering keeping that tradition, but it, it might return. But for today, I thought we would do the Club Nebula box. So I have all the sunrise, um, <laughs> all the sunrise entries already in here. And then I have all the love entries in a separate box, but we're going to, you know, probably switch them around or dump them or we'll figure it out. But let's do um, the sunrise one first. I wish I could have like somebody reach through the screen and pick this out for me, but I guess I'm going to have to do the honors. So we're going to mix these up. This is all handmade at two o'clock in the morning. So don't expect any beautiful calligraphy. Except it, instead, this is like the left hand woman's chicken scratch. So, all right. Well, it jumped at me. So we're gonna go with that one. All righty, let's see. Ooh, I don't know if she's here, but I know she's been interacting with me on Instagram a lot ever since um i announced the giveaway i think she subscribed after that but the sunrise box is going to full is it dudeni du dudeni dudeni i'm not sure of course so i'm sorry i'm going to be butchering everybody's names mm -hmm. but i'm gonna reach out to her on instagram right after this i don't know do you guys know fall um, I'm getting to know her on Instagram. She's been lovely. And I believe she has a channel. I think she has commented on some of my videos, letting me know that she also has a channel. I have not yet had a chance to actually go and watch, but um, I will definitely do that now. So that is for the sunrise. We're going to put that right next to me so that I don't get anything mixed up. And then... I guess I'm just going to do it right out of this box to save time. Um, this is for the love prize. So, of course, all those other things, plus the Natasha Denona love palette, hence the love prize. So we're going to mix these up because some people did have multiple entries because I had some special bonus entries that people could have done. All right, we're going to close my eyes just in case, and we're going to grab one. Okay. Okay, interesting. And this is going to Shervana 
B, and she actually specified that she would be thrilled to win either box. So what I did with people that mentioned that is if they had multiple entries, I split them up. I would put like one in one box and one in the other. And I figured if I by some chance pull out the same name twice, obviously I would just redo it. So yay, we have our two winners. So fall for sunrise and Shervana, Shervaya, sorry, I don't think that's an N, that's a Y, Shervaya B for the love prize. So how exciting. Um, I'm sorry to those of you guys that didn't win this time around. I know so many of you have been becoming friends, so I always feel bad that I can't give to everybody. But I love giveaways. I've been really enjoying doing these and um, spreading a little bit of love and being kind of, you know, a little bit of a gift giver, not just in personal life. So I'm sure I'll do more. Obviously, I'm definitely going to do a nice one for the thousand um, subscribers, but we'll see. Maybe as I grow on Instagram, I can throw in little giveaways there, here, and then. Um, I will always be, of course, looking out for deals, and if I see things, I will snag them up, if not for myself, for you guys for the future. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I don't even know what else um to say except a huge thank you for everyone who is here and who's been supporting me for over a year now or even a week or however long you guys have been here i appreciate every single one of you and i hope that you guys will consider subscribing if you haven't although i think everybody here is a subscriber and other than that i think that we're gonna call it a night um, for my first one, I am pretty happy. I think I did okay. And it wasn't quite as scary as I thought. So I think I might do this again once in a while because I don't always get a chance to film and edit in a timely fashion. So maybe once in a while when I have something that I really want you guys to see quick, I will do a live. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to Molly. Thank you to Rupi, to Stephen, to Locke, to Stacy and Eden and Jane Lee. I'm just trying to see you. And yeah, is it Jan? I hope I'm not butchering people's names. I heart you 143. I remember writing out your little card. So I know you entered. And I hope that you guys will end by see Polina. Yeah, I hope that you guys will stick around and I will have other giveaways. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that, we are going to call it a night. Have a great night, everybody. I hope to see you again in a future live. Good night and thanks.